Hey guys, Stephanie here. So this is going to be a mixed media jewelry making video. Okay, so I'm going to use some pieces from the Tim Holtz assemblage. Okay, this is like a little um, trinket locket box. It's very cute and it opens like that. And then I have some chain and some other things. Now, this is one of four, four this is one of a few videos that I've made. And I will link the other videos at the end. And the ones I can't link at the end, I will put them down in the description box so you can see some of the other pieces that I made with the Tim Holtz assemblage. Now I just made these earrings. This video is up. So you can check it out. There's a bracelet video and a necklace, another necklace video, okay? So I thought this would be a fun idea. I want to try it. Never done this before, so <laughs> I had an idea and I will see if I can execute it. Now having all these great ideas is one thing. Trying to execute them is something totally entirely different. If anybody's watching my video for the first time, I am a jewelry artist and a mixed media artist. And I do also do art journaling and occasionally some junk journaling. Okay, so I have a number of videos on my channel. So if you enjoy different things, come check them out. I have a playlist of the latest videos uh, on my link on my channel. Okay, so you can check those out. Now, what I, my idea was, <laughs> was to take some of my gel prints. These are gel prints. Now jewelry artists, people who make jewelry, then that's all they do have no idea what this is. This is just like a a background for an art project or for your for people who put them in journals and things like that. And a gel print is used It's a gelatin plate. You come in different sizes and you put paint down on it and then you roll it on for the different uh, colors. And then you put your plate, your paper over it and you lay it down like that. And then you pull it up and then you have different designs. And then of course I went in and added some acrylic stuff to it as well. So I added some other things. These are multiple layers of paint and different things and this is on uh, what's called onion skin paper and we use this to lay in now journals for backgrounds make our own backgrounds okay so i made this quite a while ago but i've been saving it because it's so pretty all right it has multiple colors multiple layers it has inks on it sprays and acrylic paint right and so this this one this was called a, uh, a pull from a plate and i just would cut this up or tear this up and put this in the background of a journal but I thought, what if I used a piece of it to put it in the background of this little trinket box, right? And then, y'all, I have some flakes, some gold and silver flakes that I want to add inside the trinket box. So we will see how this turns out. <laughs> I might have to put some glue in there and just glue some in there, which would be great because, you know, if the trinket box opens, we don't want it to spill out because it does open and close. Uh, I was looking for some crystals, but they are all too big to fit in here. So, and that's the thing about this thing. It can't be very, anything you put in here cannot be very dimensional because that's all the space you have, right? I was going to put some gems in here, but they didn't fit because they were two dimensional. So that's a, that's a, a thought, right? Some people build little scenes in there. Some people put dry flowers in there and then they just put it on the chain and they're done, right? But no, I have to be ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> have to be ambitious and try new things so let's let's go ahead and try this okay now let's cut this off of here we're gonna cut it off now i have like i said my gel prints i'm gonna put this aside i have my flakes and i found this in the jewelry section okay of uh, the store the craft store then i have what's called matte medium and matte medium is used to lay down um various uh, papers to different services journals canvases things like that and it's translucent and low gloss it's kind of like almost a glue but it's a glue it's like a a medium that can be I can paint over if I so wanted to okay so I'm going to use some of that then I have my water and then I got a paintbrush and then I have a paintbrush okay so without further ado let's see what we can do here um I don't know I'm liking this Hold on. Okay. There we go. I'm kind of liking that. All I need is just a tiny piece of it, right? I just need a tiny piece, but I kind of like this too with the gold. I don't know. Let's see. Let's get a little tiny piece and lay it in here and see how we like it. Okay. And I like this paper because it can clearly, it can, um, it will lay down very well in here. Okay. So let's get a tiny piece. Almost gives us ocean vibes. Oh no, that's too big. <laughs> you see how little, how small we need it? 
So we just need a tiny piece. I'm just gonna lay it in there and see how it looks. Oh, I like that. See how the background looks? Oh, that's pretty. I like it. Okay, so we're gonna go with that. And I will save these for other things. We always save our scraps, those of us who do journals. So, well, maybe not, maybe not that stuff, but like this, we would definitely save. Okay, so let's put this aside for another project. And I do have gel printing videos on my channel. So if you don't know what that is, if you want to figure it out, come to my channel, scroll down into the playlist, which is the mixed media, and you will see gel printing videos. So, you know, all right. Now, let's go ahead and put some matte medium. And this is what it looks like. It's like clear, thick. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm probably just gonna use what's in the top here. And I'm just gonna take just a little bit. And then, you know what, I'm gonna glue this here. Put this here so the paper can stay. Make sure it's on the right side, where I want it to be. All right, and then we're just gonna go over it with this, the matte medium here. We are gonna to have to let this dry. Okay. Have to give it a little drying time. And then once it's dry, we can add our other little bits in here. Okay, so we will see. I'm gonna press down a little bit so the paper can stick in the background. That's so pretty. And it will dry clear. All right. All right, all right. So it's there, it's in there. That's pretty. Nice little background for what we want. So we're gonna let that dry and then we will add our flakes. <laughs> and guess what else I pulled out? I pulled out a cute little um, butterfly. That's cute. So I might glue that in there too. You know, have a little scene going on. A little scene that's really cute. It'll fit in there, that's nice and small so we'll see all right guys all right. so another thing that you can use to go inside of here would be some of the tissue paper any of the tissue paper collage papers that tim holtz has i have almost all of them and you can always just pull a little piece off of one of these this is from an older one and this is what it's called postal tim holtz tissue wrap postal and um i got this at michael's a while ago i don't even know if they still sell it but um, you can always just tear a little piece off, you know, like a tiny piece and, you know, make some, make it, make yourself a little layers in there. Like, I think that's pretty. Can you see that? You can't even see it. It's so little. <laughs> it's so little. Let's see. And then we put our butterfly in there, which is also Tim Holtz. That's a Tim Holtz piece. And then we have ourselves a cute little background with our little, um, you know, paper in there. My original background for, my, for myself that I painted and then another little piece in here from the Tim Holtz just to keep it interesting you know you can always make it interesting layer the pieces I just wanted to put it in here to see hold on because it's such a small little thing that you don't you know you don't need a whole lot but I just want to put it in there just to see I kind of like that I might add that in there as well okay just make, you know, just for interest. So. You take your little tissue paper with your, your paintbrush and just put it, uh, lay it down. And I would allow this to dry. All right. And I like that it's kind of see-through like that. I like that. All right, so I like that. And you just go over it with your paintbrush. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. Let me see. Let's see if we can put this other little piece in here. It's like building a little background inside. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, I like that, guys. Oh, I like that. We like E. All right. All right, so what I would do is take a wipe and try to wipe off the excess, just if there is any. Okay. 
All right, that's serious. And that's the background. Isn't it pretty? Oh, that is the background. That's so pretty. Right? I love. So we're going to let this dry and then we'll add our other stuff, okay? Put the papers in there and they're dry. Now, what I decided to do, because this is metal and this is paper, so it could lift up or something like that. It's just matte medium. I just laid the paper down with matte medium, you know? Now, I realize you could probably put a sealer on the paper and anything else. If you want to put Jimmy's gemstones in here or anything like that in here, I would just put a sealer. This is a metal sealer. This is a glaze. It's a gloss. I have a matte one as well. And then um, you can, if you have glossy accent, accents, you can probably use some of that. That's also, you know, something that can be used. And then if you have a lacquer, this is 3D lacquer. I use this a lot on my jewelry. So um, I think what I'm, when I put this down, I'm probably going to use one of these two. But I'm going to go ahead and seal this because I kind of wanted to have a little bit of a gloss. And um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Let's uh, clean off our paintbrush here. It shouldn't be wet. Or you can just get a dry brush. All right, so we're going to use a dry brush. And I'm just going to take a, just a tiny bit of this and I'm going to seal it. I had to open it. And then I'm just going to put just a little bit on the brush. And I just want a tiny bit in here. All right. And I'm just going to seal it with that. Just put it around. And it give it a nice little gloss too. You don't have to do this. I'm just experimenting here. And I just kind of want to see how it looks. Oh, and it's going to have a nice glossy finish. Ooh. Because, you know, we want this is for jewelry. So we want it to have a nice um, finish. Now, if I guess you can use this for a journal cover as well, you know. A lot of people use these for journal, you know, put um, adornments on their journals. You don't have to do that. You can put something vintage in there and that's it, right? So we're going to have to let that dry. That's the thing. You got to let this stuff dry in stages. So that's how it looks. It's going to have a nice pretty finish to it. I like it. And then I'm going to add some of my flakes. Um, I was thinking about putting just a little bit of glue at the bottom. Because you know you're going to have to let it, probably let it dry in stages. Right, so what I'm going to probably do is just because I'm, this is probably the last time I'm going to use this because I've had this for a while. So I'm just going to put some down in the bottom here. And I'm going to lay the flakes down like that. So, and then this dries clear as well. All right. This is what I use on some of my rings that I made. You know. So they can have that beautiful shine. They don't look dull or anything like that. You know, I'm going to use other stuff on there. This was multiple layers of multiple days to dry and all that stuff, y'all. So, all right. So let's uh, let this dry for a little bit and we'll come back and we'll do the next step. All right, guys. So this is dry and it. Lo I love the way that it dried. It dried with a nice gloss. I love this stuff. Oh, where is it? I love this stuff. The glaze gloss. Um, metal sealer patina extender I love that so I think that worked out great for what we need it for all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep it simple and um, I don't know if I'm gonna add this in there I mean I can lay it in there you know like it'll look okay I guess like it looks okay I don't know I'll see I don't know I mean I probably should have glued it in there by now but I don't know. I don't think so. All right. So what I'm going to do is just put down some of my lacquer. And the, you can find this on Amazon. And if I remember, I will put an Amazon link to this in the description. It will be an affiliate link. Okay. So I do get a couple of dimes from you know, any affiliate link that's posted. But you can also find this at a bead store. Yeah. Usually most bead stores have it. I have never seen it at a craft store. But that's not to say they don't sell it. You know, you can check and see. But Amazon definitely has it, okay? So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this down here. Now, how I want this to go is kind of random. So... I want it to go like that. And then I want it to go at the bottom here. Okay, so we're going to put it like that. All right, now that's what it looks like. And then we're just going to sprinkle our little dust here on there. Okay, right out of the bag. Try to cover all of the 
You might have a few little pieces in here. But when it dries, we will just probably dump out the excess and then we'll have our little shape in there, okay? So, yeah. Wait, hold on. I see a little piece in the corner here. All right. Now this guy has to, this has to dry for uh I would give it an hour or so, a couple of hours. But yeah. All right. An hour or two. Let it dry, and then we're going to dump out the excess, and uh, hopefully we'll be done. So this is what it looks like. Right now it's covered. But like I said, once it dries, it won't be covered, okay? So this is still wet, and what I did was, because I it was a little thick for me, I just took the back of a tweezer, and I went in, and I just shaped it how I wanted it to look. And that's kind of something I had in my mind. It's kind of something like that. So while it's still wet, you can kind of push it or move it around a little bit, you know, to form it how you want and when it dries it's going to dry solid so that'll be great all right sorry about the ink on my hands y'all because the um, paint on the jelly print was not permanent some of it came off when I was brushing it uh, on there but if you want to use a gel print just make sure the paint is permanent like acrylic or something like that but I sealed it so it should be fine it's just gorgeous though right now I had another ambitious idea <laughs> I'm going to put a couple of Swarovskis in there and I'm going to put them like right I'm just going to put like maybe a couple here and one there I just want to see how it looks and then um for to finish it off I'm going to put some put it on a chain with a charm so we're going to what we're doing I'm going to mix the metals mix the colors you know with the dark silver like look at that how pretty is that through the glass right the dark silver with the gold inside I like that look and I like the mixed media look of it I like that a lot it was kind of how I had it in my mind. Sometimes we have all these ideas and until you start working on something, you really don't know how it's going to turn out. So let's see, you know, it may look weird. It may look good. We don't know. So that's, you know, a testament to you to try new things, you know, lay things out first, see if you like them, position them how you want. And then, um, you know, make it work. Let me get my hypo cement. Hold on. So this is what I put my crystals on with. And I have some of this in my shop. My Stephanie Garrett Designs uh, shop on Etsy, and I have tweezers, like a whole little kit on my sh in my shop. Okay, in fact, I have I have these. This is the set. I have a set like this in my shop. So check it out. The link will be listed in the description. So, but I like these. I have these handy. I, they were just right there. So what I'm going to do is just grab these, and I'm going to put them there, and I'm going to see how I like them. We're going to audition these. Oh, I like that. It's so different and unique. It's so different and unique. I like that. And then let me see. I have the idea of putting one here. Oh, I like that, guys. I like that. That's very cool. Oh, I like that. So if we close the little door, well, we probably have to push them over a little bit so we can see them. Okay. And then we can close the little door and then we have something really pretty inside. Look at that, how it glimmers and shimmers. Oh, I love it. I love it. So, all right, let's do that. Let's take these out. All right, oh, I love that. And then um, you can glue this little door shut too if you want to, you know. Just put a little glue on the on the hinge there and just close it shut so it doesn't come open. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. Just a little dab and right there. And then I'm going to lay my crystals down. Okay. These are Swarovski's. And then, um, or you can use flat backs, just flat back pieces that you have. Okay. I love that. And then I'm going to put another one here. Okay, just a little dab of glue there. And I put that there. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I wonder if I put one more in there. Let me see. Let's, let's, let's add one more. Let's see. Before we glue it down, we'll add it. We'll audition it. Okay. Oh, let me see. Oh, I like that. That is so pretty. Let's hold it closer so you can see it. That's so pretty. And you might have to clean the glass of the piece because you've been kind of, oh, I love that. I love, okay. It's a little over the top, but you know me. 
<laughs> those of you who watch my channel for any length of time know how I am. I like the kitchen sink. So we're going to add another little droplet of glue in here. Put that right there. And then just add another crystal. All right. There we go. I love that. So beautiful. So beautiful. And then if you have any loose pieces, you can just take them out. Okay. Little loose pieces. All right. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I wouldn't mind, wouldn't have minded it to be a little bit thinner, but considering this is my first time making it, I think it came out great. It's very unique and it's very, look at that. How pretty. I'm going to post this on my Instagram at Stephanie Gary Creative. And you can see all the other pieces that I made over there. I love that. Oh my goodness. That's going to be so pretty. So what I'm going to do is add the chain after this dries. I'm going to clean the little door. <laughs> I'm going to add the chain and then I'm probably add a little charm. You know, to, to kind of top it off. So, yeah. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and add the 18 inch chain. This is 18 inches. Alright, so I'm just going to cut it off. And I'm going to just keep it just like that. And I'm going to um, put a lobster claw on it. Okay. I'm trying to wait for that to dry. So, meanwhile, I just pulled out a few while I'm waiting for that to dry. I just pulled out a few dangles. You know, little um, charms and some dangles. Just in case I decide I want to put anything on here. I think it's perfect the way that it is. So I'm probably going to seal this because a little latch, you can kind of maybe put a little glue on the latch and seal it down there. Put a little, just a little glue, just so it won't come open. You know, I don't want it to come open. All right. I think it looks great. Let me see. Make sure it doesn't come open. <laughs> All right. So you can always just put a little glue in there just to make sure. All right. Look at that. How pretty is that? Little locket. I love it. It's And it's not traditional. You know, most people would put, you know, pictures in here or whatever. I just kind of layered to some different pieces in there and it looks great. Like I said, if I did it next time, I probably wouldn't make this so thick. But, you know, it came out gorgeous. Nonetheless, I thought it was pretty. So I'm going to make sure this does not come open. All right make sure make sure you're finished with it before you seal it you know so i'm just going to go ahead and add the chain it's going to be kind of short 18 inches is a little short so i have additional chain over here which is a set very similar and i have some other links i can add to this you know to uh, make it to make it a little longer so i can add more links so i can make it you know 20 inches if i want it to so you make it 20 inches if you want it to, okay? Which I think I might. I might add like maybe four lengths on each side. All right. So let's do that. So let's do one, two, three. Well, this is four right here, but <laughs> we got to fix it. Okay. All right. Oh, here. Let's put that one with that. Close that up. And then um, put the other one on there. So, wait, make sure we... I think that's right. Okay. So, is that right? Yes. All right. So, four on one side and four on the other. I could have, I could have left it open, huh? <laughs> I should have left it open. I didn't realize that. All right. So, let's just add this on this side. Make it just a tad longer than what we want. Luckily, I have two. I had some extra pieces left over from other projects. And then I'm going to put another four four lengths on this side. Sorry, y'all. I have paint and matte medium on my hands. One, two, three, four. Okay. So let's just open it here and then make sure. All right. Here we go. This side. And then we're done with adding extra links on just to give it a little bit more length because it's 18 inches so we want to make it it's probably about 20 now we'll measure though all right so all right now i like that 
So adding the extra length there is great. And then you can always add an extender on the end too if you want it. You know, to make it longer. Okay, so I just measured this and it's now 21 inches, which is great. So we gotta find a gotta find a jump ring for this. And it's kind of big, so we probably have to use a nine millimeter at least. Oh wait, you know what? Here, wait, let's see. Let's see, I have different jump rings in here. Let's see if we can find a nine millimeter. Um, yeah, got it right there. I'm gonna use one of these, nine millimeter. I like that. And I think it goes with that. Let me see. Or, let's see. Hold on, I have an eight millimeter as well. So we'll see which one looks better. All right. Probably the eight millimeter, I'm thinking. Yeah. Now that I'm looking at it, I think the eight millimeter might work because this might be a tad too big. So. All right, so let's use the eight millimeter. We're gonna open that. Put it in the center here. And then even out our chain, make sure it's even. And this looks like the center right here. We're just gonna hang it on there. Okay, and just close our jump ring. We probably even put two jump rings on there too, you know, just to make sure. Because it is a big chunky piece. And that is our necklace, guys. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. So when I was thinking about adding a charm, I was going to add one like right there. Not too much. <laughs> is it too much? Is it too much? Let's add it and see. I don't know, y'all. I like this too. This is cool. Let me see this one. This one's cool. I like that too. But I think with the gold, I'm kind of mixing the metals here, the gold and the silver. I mean, either one of them looks great. I don't know about adding this because I think that's a little much. So we'll see though. We will see what it needs. Okay. Oh, it's a little bitty small. Um, here, let's just, I'm going to put it right here. I think that looks great. There's a little something extra, you know. We mixed our metals. We added paper, mediums. This is definitely a mixed media jewelry project for sure. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like that, y'all. Oh, look at that. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, let me get a closure for you. I'm going to get a um, closure. So I'm going to get another 8 millimeter out for the closure. Okay. So we have that. I love this. All right, so I grabbed my closure. That's what it looks like, my lobster claw. And I'm just gonna add it. Actually, I probably need two of these for the other side. Hold on, need another one. All right. And then you can add it however you like. If you wanna add extra things, extra bits on the end for your closures, that's perfectly fine. I'm just, this is just was an ambitious project for me to try something different and new. Um, I don't think there was a right or wrong, you know, but it's just kind of, I just did it on the fly, y'all. And I think it came out gorgeous, right? So we close our jump ring up. Oh yeah, so pretty, right? So, so pretty. So I will post this on my Instagram, at Stephanie Garrett Creative. Don't forget to follow me over there for additional photos for... Uh, you know, different projects and things. If I'm working on journals, if I'm working on jewelry, whatever. All right, so now we are done, guys. Oh my goodness. Wait, well, we were done. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're done. I am going to close this up. I'm gonna try it on. Let me see how I like it. Oh, I love it. I like it. Oh my God, I like it a lot. I like this a lot y'all oh I just tried it on it's so cute oh it's so cute so so cute so original and so cool not at all how I had intended to do this because when I first bought this stuff because I bought this stuff sp specifically for this video 
because I didn't have uh, I had a chain but I needed more chain and I bought this little locket okay because I saw Tim Holtz use this in his um, I showed this in one of his videos on Instagram so I went out and purchased this stuff just for this video because I wanted to try this project so I think it came out absolutely stunning so this is so pretty look at that and it sparkles it shines it's gorgeous right so so beautiful so original and so beautiful so I love making this project okay um, so give me a follow on my social media at Stephanie Gear Creative like I mentioned before and at Stephanie Gear Designs for my jewelry and if you have any questions or comments regarding the video leave them below and I'll answer them and get back to you and definitely uh, hit your channel notification so you'll be notified when the video is uploaded okay and be sure to check out the other companion pieces to go with this video I will list them I will link to it linked at least two at the end and then I'll put the rest down in the description okay all right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate you and I will catch the next one. Ciao.